This week in the galley, we're back in West LA at Red O Restaurant. Standing next to me, it's the executive chef here at the Red O Restaurant. Hey, Anthony, thanks for helping us out, man. Uh, you're welcome. So what do you have in store for us today? Uh, today we're going to be preparing lobster mac and cheese. Uh, we do it traditionally here with uh, rajas and caramelized onions. We also add a three cheese blend that we add in our sauce. Uh, but yeah, you guys are in store for some good food. Good, good. All right. All right, how do we get started? All right, so go ahead and heat up your saute pan. You want to make sure you start with the hot set three pan at all times. And we're going to hit it with uh, rajas. So rajas are roasted uh, pastilla peppers. And then we're going to go ahead and add our sliced lobster. We go ahead and leave the knuckles out uh, just to leave as a garnish at the very end. after it's been brought up to temperature. It doesn't take long, huh? No, not at all. We, we have it all set up for execution here. <laughs> Make sure the guests aren't waiting. So we bring it all into... And then we ended up finishing it off with uh, cotija bread. So I also want to make sure that we finish off and garnish the lobster mac with the knuckles. Okay. So now we're putting the lobster mac in the oven because we want to build that crispy texture on the top. Uh, that's basically it. I mean, once it gets nice and brown, we'll hit it in the salamander a little bit. We'll pull it out so you guys can give it a try. Cool. Now, if you're making the sauce at home, how do you blend those cheeses? I know it's not just throw cheeses. No, no. So what we do is we create a bechamel. So traditionally, a bechamel is uh, a little bit of onion, bay leaf, and then we combine uh, a roux, which is butter and flour, mm -hmm. and then milk, bring up like a, a nice sauce base, and then we uh, melt the cheeses inside of it. Yeah. And that's how you get that nice soft consistency. That nice soft consistency, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. So now we're going to pull out the lobster back after it's had a couple minutes to get nice and brown. See? All right. We're going to finish off by garnishing off with some cilantro. There you have it. Lobster mac and cheese. All right. Go ahead and have a taste. All right. Thanks, Anthony. This looks so good. I gotta get a piece of lobster. It's so hot and good, <laughs> but it tastes nice. It's really good. Yeah. Do you notice the difference between the East Coast lobster and the West Coast lobsters? Uh, not to be honest with you, I've mostly worked with West Coast here, so. Yeah, no, this tastes really, really good. Thank you, man. No worries. I'm gonna finish this off before we go, but Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.